After casting on your stitches, the next thing you will need to know in order to knit are these two basic stitches, knits and purls. A cool fact about knits and purls are that they are two sides to the same coin. A knit is a backwards purl, and a purl is a backwards knit. In a different video, I will discuss things in a bit more detail for you all. Before we begin, I would like to disclose that I will be basing my proceeding assumption off of a couple of statistics. Number one, about 60% of knitters do so in English style, where the feeding yarn is held in their dominant hand. And number two, the world's majority of people, 90%, are right-handed. Doing the math, this would mean that a little over half, 54% of people who knit, would likely form their knits in a V-shape and travel from right to left on their first row after casting on their stitches. Knits. Knits have a V-shaped profile, and to construct them, we will first insert our needle from front to back. Next, we will wrap our yarn over the shaft of our inserted needle to form the loop which will become our new stitch in the row. Be sure to take note of the direction in which you are wrapping your yarn around the needle. We will need to do the opposite of what we've done here in order to make our next row. This loop we just want. We will pull it through the previous one and finally slide it off the preceding needle. Repeat this process to the end of your row. Before we begin our next row, we will have to rotate our work so that the other side is not facing towards us. Most knitting instructions will tell you to turn your work at the end of your rows, and this is what they are referring to. Pearls. Pearls have a bumpy profile whose construction will begin by doing the opposite of what we had done while knitting. This time, we will insert our needle from back to front with the tip facing towards us. Taking into account the direction in which we had wrapped our yarn in the process of making our knit stitches, we're going to have to wrap our yarn in the other direction. For me personally, I have a tendency to wrap my yarn towards me as it comes over the needle. Hence, I will need to wrap my yarn over and away from me in this procedure. Please adjust according to your individual habits. The loop which is formed with the yarn going over the needle will now be pulled through the center of the stitch away from us, exiting the back side of our fabric. Just like before with knits, we will slide the previous stitch off of the other needle. Repeat this process to the end of your row. The moment your knits become pearls, or vice versa, is when you either start switching sides with your fabric construction, or change the directions in which you're making your stitches. The minute we turn our work around and start making stitches from the other side is one way in which a knit becomes a pearl. The other way is when you simply return in the other direction. Let's say, for example, how we are working from right to left. By the time we reach the other side, and then start working from right to left, following the same instructions as we did with knits, we will have also started making pearls. In essence, backwards has a couple of different contexts in the realm of knitting. Backwards could mean working from the other side of your work as well as inserting a needle from the other side and grabbing your yarn in a different direction. Or, it could mean to simply go from left to right if the previous row was worked right to left. For this demonstration, I will be doing a swatch of stock and net stitch, where you will alternate between rows of knits and rows of pearls. Doing your first row of knits bearing a V-shaped profile, as we travel from the right vertical side of your fabric to the left, the second row comprised of pearls can be formed in one of two ways. One is you first physically turn your work around so that the side which had previously faced you, known as the right side, is now facing away from you. Next, you will insert your needle from back to front and wrap your yarn in the opposite direction from which you did on the knit row. Considering we have to turn our work around in this fashion, our stitches on the needle will become slightly twisted, and so the legs of our stitches will be swapped. If we don't take this into account, we could end up twisting a stitch, which is a subject we've gone into detail in another video. Finish the rest of your row in this fashion. 
Now the other way you can form pearls is by making your stitches much the same way you had when making your knits. The only difference is now we travel in this case from our left to the right. I would like to take a moment to remind you all that I have handmade stuff available on Kofi. Goods which I have either knitted or crocheted myself are for sale in the commission section. There you will find baby blankets as well as dog sweaters available for purchase. You can also support us through Patreon as well as buy me a coffee. All tiers have access to behind the scenes content alongside personal updates not publicly available. Thanks again. Subscribe and stay tuned and don't forget to check what we have posted in the community tab of our channel please.